Hey everyone, it's Saturday afternoon and I am having a really good hair day. <laughs> this is so shallow, but I wanted to document it because it so rarely happens. Um, I just washed my hair and let it dry almost completely by itself naturally. And then I just round brushed, round brushed. Round. I haven't round brushed my hair in forever. I usually just let it dry by itself and then go back and either straighten it or curl it. So this is it. And um, I'm wearing wet and wild eggshell, walking on eggshells on my eyes. I haven't worn that in a really long time. And it's just hands down the best eyeshadow trio drugstore version ever. And if you don't own it, I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself. Huh. If you don't own it, then you should. The other reason why I'm documenting my hair is because it's raining outside. It always happens that I get really good hair, but it's raining. So as soon as I go outside, what's gonna happen? <laughs> so I got it, I just captured it. There we go. I'm also playing with some of the new ambient. I got the new, no, it's not. Okay, okay. I got the ambient lighting palette, not the blush, but the powders. And I'm noticing that if you use the, there's like two kind of darker tone ones. I don't know which one is which. So I can't tell you the names. The one on the right. If you put it all over, it's just, look, I look tan. Don't I look tan? I think I look tan, like for me. So maybe I'm an NC20 now. Anyway, um, the rest of the outfit is, um, Oh dear Lord, what just happened here? I don't know. But um, I'm just wearing an old, there we go. I'm playing with my new camera so the viewfinder's doing wacky things. Old um, Target sweater. These are Kendra Scott earrings. Tainer bar necklace. And then these leggings I think are still available at Target, not Target, Express. They're regular cotton and then they're leather. Well, they're pleather. So that's kind of cool. And then my Hunter Rain boots. That's what I've got going on today. I'm gonna take my oldest son out to lunch, just the two of us. It's kind of nice, just me and the older one on a mom-son lunch date for pizza. I really am craving some deep dish Chicago-style pizza. We are walking on the river and uh, just dropped our youngest off at a birthday party, the Hard Rock, and it's raining, so get my hood on. And I want you to see what I can see. Isn't it pretty? I feel like we're in Disneyland. Okay, we're at, we're at the river walk and we have some very bold ducks. Hi duck. Smile, you're on camera. Okay, so we're in the lobby of the Hyatt Regency right on the river walk. It's a little dark in here, but it's really cool. And then it goes up, 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 up. Really pretty here. And then you turn around and right out the doors is the river walk right there. Very cool. So one of the really cool artists in San Antonio is the Garcia Art Glass and I'm in the lobby of the Hyatt Regency on the river walk but you gotta see this. There's a little store here. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh no. Oh yeah, it's recording. And that's what it looks like inside. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go check it out. We are at the... We're at Green Vegetarian Restaurant uh, at the Pearl Brewery. We had a very late night last night taking our youngest son around at a, a group of kids all over San Antonio. Over, but I'm not. I just haven't, I haven't drank, I haven't had anything to drink, but I'm so tired. Anyway, I want you to see this pretty cool place. If I can show you. I love how they have streamers dividing up the room. And they have a chalkboard. Vegan food diet. Husband. Anyway, I'm still getting the hang of this camera, so I hope this the uh, back at the Pearl. We're still at the Pearl. Finished breakfast. We're walking around. There's a new ba a bakery that's new to the Pearl. It's not new to San Antonio. They just opened here called Bakery Lorraine. And we picked up some macaroons to go to eat later. Where are they? They're in my cavernous bag. And um, I feel like I'm in Paris. So that's kind of cool. Here, wait. Let me get one out for you. 
Oh no, whoops, that's a moon pie. You know what, I'm not gonna dig through there. We got homemade moon pies for the boys, and we got one little macaroon each for us. If I, I'll open it in the car, but they opened up some new stores here. It's a Sunday morning though, so everything's closed, but they have uh, this men's store called the Sporting District that I'm gonna have to check out. I don't know if you can see in there. There we go. I'm gonna have to come back when it's open. My husband is intrigued. So anyway, that's what it looks like here. There's lots of dogs and it's a gray, gloomy day, but it's really still pretty here and green. And what's really cool is you can live here in these apartments, which would be really fun in another life, but not this one. Hey everyone, um, I'm just checking in with you really quickly. Today is Monday and I'm getting ready to go um, to a meeting with Aaron Busby. We are working on a project and we're just hashing out, trying to flesh it out a little bit and you'll hear more about that project hopefully after the first of the year. There's nothing to tell you just yet. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you my outfit of the day if I can. On my face, I am wearing Nars Sheer Glow and I'm wearing the Bite Lip Cream and Crianza that I wore a few weeks ago. And on my eyes, I'm wearing a Rimmel, not a quad, it's like a Quint, five eyeshadows from Rimmel. I don't think it's available in the US. A friend of mine brought it back when, um, from London. She was there earlier this year. I will list that below. And um, just the usual stuff. And I got this outfit from Loft yesterday. I'm wearing my coat already, but this is a shirt and sweater together, like it's fake, like there is no real shirt under it, I love that. This is a necklace from Bobble Bar, and I'm just wearing um, dark wash jeans and my coach riding boots, and my big wool coat, and Bosley wants to come in the house, so we will do that, and I am, yeah, that's it. So I just wanted to show you this outfit real quick before I head out, it's a busy day, so I'm meeting with Aaron, and I have to run some errands. And then tonight, uh, my oldest son is being inducted into the National Honor Society at his high school, which is really exciting for us, so yay! So excited, I'm so proud of him. And um, I don't think I can film that, but um, I just wanna let you know where I was going. And that is my day. Hey, I am at Starbucks with Aaron, and I gotta make this short because there's music going on in the background. We're just working on a little project. Say hey. Hey guys. Oh wait, I want her to see herself. Oh, there I am. Wow, it's dark. Yeah, but it's cool. That is a cool new camera. We're trying out the new vlog camera. I love it. So wow. cool. Now we're going to get back to work. because I have a sick child home from school. Um, I'm gonna run out and get some grocery shopping done. That's the good news about having older children. You can leave them at home while you still run errands when they're sick. And then I'm gonna edit the vlog that's going up tomorrow, which is a week from today in your world. This gets very confusing. But as far as um, what I'm wearing today, is this terrible that I don't even remember what I put on my face today? Oh, it's an old discontinued Dior Quint, so don't even ask, because I don't even know the name. I think it was called like Earth's Reflection or something like that, but it's long gone. Every time I find something amazing and good, they discontinue it. And then on my lips is a combination of the Sephora Matte Lip Cream in Nude Luster and a Maybelline lip gloss, I think raspberry something. Anyway, here's the lump on the couch. That's my lump, so sad. So, I'm, whoop, sorry, so I'm off to the grocery store. I'm gonna make meatloaf tonight and I've already made my beer bread for dinner and it is cooling off in here. I think I cooked it a little too long, but I tasted it, it's still good. New at the grocery store, that is really cool. It's a setting spray, the light's terrible. And then look at this. This is all interesting, but this is new. 
which is very exciting. It's a, apparently a new updated version. But look at the price. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's high. That is really high for drugstore rain. And I think that's it that, as far as new stuff that I'm seeing. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday and the highlight of my day is that I am attempting to make uh, the chicken noodle soup recipe from Miss Chivas, Mischievous? Julia's um, blog and YouTube channel and I'll link that recipe below. It looks really good and I was reading her comments back and everyone who's tried it said it's really good. I'm not, it's almost 11 o'clock so um, I have sort of possibly a busy afternoon so what I'm doing is just pre-chopping. So I have my veg as they say in the UK. I don't know how I started. I watch too much European YouTube but anyway um, so I have my vegetables here. I'm going to chop them and then just put them in Tupperware containers and then I will have them to hand when I'm ready to actually cook the meal. And then just one more thing. Today my vlog from last week went up and it had my Best Buy rant in it and I just want to reiterate that uh, and maybe it's a mistake maybe it's naivety or ignorance on my part but when I make these vlogs when I make any of my videos I feel like I'm talking to friends just like that the camera is not really a camera but that it is 51,000 odd girlfriends or friends that I'm just chit-chatting about as I would during any as anyone would on a daily basis and you know when you talk with your girlfriends my real friends in real life I'll vent about stuff they'll vent about stuff they're pissed about something I'm pissed about something we get it off our chest and we move on and when I talk to my friends I'm not worried about them analyzing everything I say or do and everything that comes out of my mouth and whether I'm being literal or not and maybe in my ignorance I sort of forgot that on YouTube not everybody gets me and gets my sense of humor or gets my sarcasm or just because I'm bitch and moan about something doesn't mean that I really expect that you guys to attack Best Buy and start a Twitter war or that I actually went online or called someone up and bullied them. I mean, I would hope, and I guess that's, that's the point I'm trying to make is what was upsetting to me when I was reading back those comments is not, it's not that you misinterpreted my actions. What upset me is that many of you have watched me for a very long time and I feel like you do know my personality. And, and that you, because of one 30 second rant, you would forget anything positive you had to say about me and just immediately jump on the negative bandwagon and think the worst of me and just disregard everything else I've ever done was very hurtful. But then I have to realize that you really don't know me in real life and so I guess that's just how the internet and YouTube works. And um, But it, it is hurtful and uh, I'm just going to let it roll off, I'm going to let it go. Just like I'm letting it, I'm, I'm ranting again, but I'm gonna let it go because many of you did get it and did laugh along with me, and um, and that's that. So thank you for my little rant. I, it feels, it feels, I feel better. And now I'm gonna get on with uh, wielding a big sharp knife and uh, getting a little bit more of my frustration out on an innocent leek and some carrots and an acorn squash. So I'll see you a little later. So I am in the middle of making dinner, and I just want to show you what goes on in my house when I make dinner. So I have the, uh, I'm making the chicken noodle soup from Julia's blog and, uh, and video. And I already browned my chicken, it's over there. And now I am gently sauteing the garlic and onions in the same pan, so it's all nice and brown, and all these brown bits are gonna go into the broth and I think make the flavor that much better. And now, um, what's next? Then I add all the rest of the vegetables and stir fry in high heat and blah, blah, blah. I'll show you that. And I just want to show you what I do while I cook sometimes because it's kind of lonely just sitting in the kitchen by yourself. So I watch Netflix or YouTube. Today it's Netflix and I'm watching Undercover Boss. I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely addicted to it and I cry like a baby every time. Like I know some of you think I'm very tough and strong. Sometimes I am. But other times I'm a big mush ball and this just kills me every time. Like, so it's 7.30 in the morning on Thursday. I washed my hair last night and just let it air dry so it's up on the top of my head right now. I don't even know what that's going to look like. That looks weird. Um, it's a busy day today. I'm volunteering at the high school for the entire morning till noon. Um, working in the teacher's lounge, supervising a teacher luncheon. 
who knew teachers needed supervising? And then this afternoon, um, filming a video, I'm not gonna tell you, well, it doesn't matter what it is, because by the time you see this, you'll have already known. Bringing back my grown ass women series, yay! And, um, and then I'm gonna cook dinner, and the dogs are getting groomed, the Westies, uh, who look like little white mops, I don't know where they went, are gonna look like Westies again. But I want to show you what I'm doing since I have a busy morning and I want to get this, I'm making beef stew tonight and I want to get it in the oven before 3 so it's ready by 6. Um, I prepped my veggies, they're in the bowl that I'm going to cook them in actually. And just a little tip that I do, I learned from I think Rachel Ray or somebody, but um, when I peel potatoes, carrots, whatever needs peeling, I just get a little bowl and uh, peel it right into the bowl. It's just easier on your back. and. Um, then you can put that right into the garbage can or compost heap or whatever it is that you do with your scraps. But uh, I know it seems like a no-brainer, but um, uh, it's helped me tremendously. It just keeps things tidy and my garbage disposal doesn't work well with, with vegetable peeling. So there's your little tip. I don't know. Simple, but it's helped me a lot. So I moved from the kitchen to the laundry room and I know some of you are completely grossed out by the fact that my dogs sleep on our bed with us, not in, not under the covers, but on, and um, I am, I do this at least once a month, if not more often, but uh, I am washing, I just washed our quilt, and I am throwing it in the dryer, and uh, washing it. The best thing about these big front loader machines is you can actually wash your comforters and quilts and stuff, and um, just a tip, I don't know if you know about this, but if you have a front loading washing machine, after you're done, leave the door open, like not wide open, but slightly open, and allow it time to dry. Um, I learned that when I just got my washing machine repaired not too long ago. That um, that prevents mold and mildew growing in there. So I forgot my video camera, so we're gonna do this today on my camera camera. And Kiki's here, and we're gonna go check out this new, this looks good. Okay, let me see that menu. Okay, our, our lunch came. I'm trying to get us both in the shot. There we go. We're at Zoe's Kitchen, and I got the chicken salad sampler, and Kiki got... What is that? Um, it's ch is chicken, this chicken yeah. salad. It's this chicken salad sandwich also, and it's a tomato bisque soup. That looks beautiful. It's, you know, pretty simple, but looks yummy. And they gave us, because this is our first time here, they gave us a hummus plate. So thumbs up so far to Zoe's. Woohoo! So, um, finished lunch, and now I am running into CVS because there's a bunch of new things at the drugstore that I'm really curious about and Kiki's joining me to give me some input and then I'm going to Ulta to meet another friend who'd like some advice on buying some basics so hopefully I'll be able to shoot a little bit in there as well. Let's go! Okay! Um, now I'm at Ulta over behind me, there it is, and I'm with a good friend of mine, my best friend, and uh, who does not want to be on camera but she's real, she's giggling over there and we're gonna go look at some basic stuff for her and for her daughter, maybe. So um, I just got back from lunch and Ulta and CVS, and I picked up a few things. Thanks to a viewer today who mentioned on my blush video to pick this up. Can't wait to give this a try. There's quite a few drugstore items, um, all new to me, that I just grabbed, and I'm not gonna do a whole haul, but something that's been recommended to me over and over again, and I used to use religiously when I first started on YouTube, but it's been a while. I picked up the Revlon Color Stay, and I don't know what color I am. It's terrible, the, the uh, 150 buff. So, and a few drugstore things, and I finally got the Anastasia, I don't know why I didn't buy this during the VIB sale, but the Dip Dow Pomade. I know it's very dark in here. It's very dark, very dreary outside. Check it out. It's not good at all. Very dark sky. It's brightening up a little up there, but dark here. Oh! And it's a thunderstorm, yes! So I'm actually going to get out of my regular clothes, get into my jammies, go get some cider, not get it, but brew it in the curry, the spice cider I got, and uh, get on the couch and maybe put a little rum in there too. And uh, just relax. It's Friday night, and I have a whole more than a week of no school, no commitment. Yay! I'm very excited. So I'll see you next week. Enjoy whatever it is that you're doing today, and I'll see you then. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's 
been a long time to another addition to the Grown Ass Women series. For those of you that don't know what that 